Now, I'm often asked, uh, what is the Russian equivalent to our home guard, and how does it work? Well, there are perhaps, one might say, two equivalents to our home guard. First of all, in all the big centers of population, the whole of the population, men and women, in their spare time are trained for street fighting. Yes. So that they can actually defend their own town. Yes. And in Odessa and Leningrad and elsewhere, they have done so. Then uh, the women are organized into labor battalions. As many as 30,000 women were sent out of Moscow to dig the yes. entrenchments around Moscow in the yes. critical weeks. And uh, thirdly, the uh, peasants in all the villages are trained in partisan groups, yes. so that if the Germans occupy the area, then afterwards they can carry on guerrilla fighting behind the lines. Yes. And the work of the guerrillas has been beyond all praise. They've interfered with the German communications, they've created ambushes and destroyed uh, bridges, and made the position extremely difficult in many cases for the Germans. You said when you arrived in England, Sir Stafford, and I think the people, the work people in particular, were glad to hear it, that the Soviet government, the Soviet leaders, were well satisfied with the quality of the war material we were sending. What would you say about the volume? Well, of course, uh, quite naturally, people who are in the position of the Russian government and the Russian nation, uh, right up against these enormous forces, naturally, uh, want to get all they can get. But the Russians uh, have got a very good appreciation of our difficulties and uh, the necessities for sending supplies elsewhere. And they have been very pleased that we have carried out scrupulously the promises that were made at Moscow as regards our supplies. And they are also very satisfied with regard to the quality of the supplies, both the Hurricane fighters and the uh, Valentine tanks have been uh, in action on the Moscow front and have done very fine work indeed. It's been contemplating in Russia, I think, that in the spring there will be another offensive by the Germans. Yes. Now, what we do to help them during these uh, shortcoming months of the winter will very largely determine, perhaps, the speed with which they can overcome the final assault of Germany. And every week or every hour by which we can shorten the time for that uh, final blow to be given will save thousands and tens of thousands of women and children and men in Russia from that suffering that they're bearing now.